Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And the first of two movie reviews I have for you guys today. The first one is Jolt. And this movie was released on July 23rd, 2021. It is an action comedy film that has a 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb, a 36% on Rotten Tomatoes, and an 82% on Google. Now, the movie was directed by Tanya Wexler and written by Scott Washia. And this movie stars Kate Beckinsale, Susan Sarandon, and Stanley Tucci. And quick synopsis what this movie is, is you have uh, Lindy, played by Kate Beckinsale, who has a anger uh, problem. And so to manage her anger problem she has a special vest made with this switch to where she could shock herself and basically makes her calm down well after her boyfriend is murdered a uh, boyfriend that she um, uh, hasn't had one in the longest time but after a while she falls for this guy he gets murdered and she goes off she goes on a uh, rampage to get back to the guys that uh, took him from her and uh, that's what this movie is about this is a uh, uh, this is a movie that you just you just can't take too seriously um, if you go into it looking for a serious action movie then you're going to be disappointed this is a goofy kind of uh, action comedy film which works i mean and it's kate beckinsale which you normally don't see her in these kind of roles she's usually uh whether she's playing a vampire in underworld or uh, a victim in uh, uh in vacancy uh you know she just she doesn't usually do these type of roles and, and she was really good in this movie i, I have to admit and even though Susan Sarandon is not uh, in this movie very long, I like her presence. And it sets it up for a sequel, which I don't know if we'll get. I have no box office numbers for this movie. Uh, but if it does get a sequel, hey, you know, I'll check it out because I love Kate Beckinsale. But most people are going to go into this movie thinking it's stupid. Uh, and, yeah, we see these revenge type of movies all the time. Uh, we see at least half a dozen made each year, starting in January. Usually January leads off with one of these movies. And so uh, there's nothing new, really. But uh, it's still enjoyable now. Uh, it's not a perfect movie. It's not a movie that uh, I would go out and buy, but I would watch it again if you know if it was on TV or a uh, movie channel uh, like it is now. But uh, other than that, I'm going to give Jolt a 7 out of 10. Uh, no two thumbs up, no, two, no thumbs down, just a 7 out of 10. You can find it on Amazon Prime right now. So definitely check it out. In the comment section below, if you've seen the movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And if you like this review, hit that like button. And uh, uh, join me on my journey to 1,000 subscribers. I would love to get there. So do all you can. Share these reviews. And... The more, the merrier. And remember, it doesn't cost you guys anything to subscribe to the channel. And I would love to hear some feedback from you guys as well. And uh, for those of you who are new to this channel, uh, in my next review, I'll let you guys know uh, a few more things about this channel and what you can expect here in the coming months. But I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for my movie review of the film Spiral. The Book of Saul, starring Chris Rock.
But thanks again for watching, and check you later.